Well, influence marketing has been going on a long time. I've traced it back even to Roman times when the person who's reading the news would stay, stand there and say, well, today the, the Colosseum will be closed for cleaning and the gladiators will be uh, performing tomorrow at three. And today's message is brought to you by Roman Grains. Caesar loves Roman Grains and you will too. So that was the original influencer marketing that I can trace back, as far as back as I can trace it. So today, in more modern times, what's happened is that businesses have reached out to celebrities. And so they'll hire someone like a Tiger Woods or a Lance Armstrong. And sometimes that works out great, and sometimes it doesn't, as we've seen when they had their big public fiascos and businesses wish they hadn't spent millions and millions of dollars with those particular people. Well, now, businesses can reach out directly to individuals, to what we call the citizen influencers, people who are influential within a certain sphere. For example, if I owned a ski resort in Colorado, I might want to reach out to people who are really influential about snowboarding and to get them to say, hey, come to Breckenridge and do this particular lift and this particular run, it's really great for snowboarding. So it can be business, it can be passions, it could be whatever it is that, that someone is wanting to get their message out about.